Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Good Saturday morning to you all. I hope you guys are having a great start to your day, great start to your weekend out there. Got you an update on what's going to happen weather-wise uh, for today, for your Saturday, as we normally do. Uh, not a whole lot going on. It's going to be a pretty nice day for most of the country, except for a very small section of the southeast and uh, you know what do you know you know good old mitch over here just happens to be in that area of the country uh it was crazy we had a backdoor cold front what we call here in the carolinas which is cold air damning that came through right in the middle of the afternoon yesterday and it was just a crazy difference in the atmosphere of what happened it went from like 80 degrees to like the upper 40s by the time it got to around 6 30 7 o'clock and the cold front moved through about 2 30 so massive temperature drop i was geeking out a little bit it was interesting for sure but uh that cool air has settled in for those areas of the country over here in the carolinas we'll talk about that here in a second but we'll talk about everybody else too i just you know just want to mention guys there's not a whole lot going on don't want to hype up anything that's that's just not really there the only you know topic that I think warrants a conversation on, and I think we'll do that tomorrow evening, is a little bit of a spin in the Gulf of Mexico that might emerge, uh, I would say, sometime next work week. So we'll discuss that, but we're not talking about an early season hurricane or anything like that. But we'll certainly discuss it, what it means, who could be impacted, all those good things. So with that being said, if you folks have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. It goes a long way. And uh, like the video if you like it. Uh, the growth during the slow times is is some of the is, is some of the most important growth. Uh, just the consistent views uh, when things really bog down. There's not a whole lot to talk about, which really happens in the middle of summer. And uh, just uh, that's really the testament of the growth of the channel. When we get in June, July, August, when there's nothing going on in the tropics, and really all I can do is jump on here and say, hey, it's going to be hot and humid with a chance of pop-up storms. You know, if I can get just a couple thousand views on those videos, you know, I, I, that tells me that the channel had some growth, big time growth over the uh, busy season. So which I normally consider hurricane season through winter, through severe weather season. But regardless, thank you all. As always, I, I know it, it probably gets to the point of annoyance how much I say it. But the people who consistently, uh, you know, view, tune in regardless of how active the weather is. So thank you all for that. If you folks got anything that I can pray about or pray over, as always, please put it in the comments below. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to pray over it, and it gives others an opportunity to do so, too. Family-type atmosphere here, and I can assure you that we all look out for one another. So winter weather advisories, that's probably the most active thing ongoing winter weather-wise, is up here. Maybe a few inches of snow has fell. Let me know what, got, what you guys are seeing up here in northern and north-central and northeastern Wisconsin, uh, maybe even a little snow falling in Green Bay, red flag warnings up in the middle of the country, but it's pretty wild seeing absolutely no alerts out west. I mean, it's calmed down, it's chilled out, no consistent storm activity for you folks. Maybe you guys can get a little bit of a, some snow melt up there in the higher elevations where uh, I saw some pictures of some buried uh, buried cars out here that uh, just kind of got lost in, in the snow. It's pretty wild. Flood watches up here in south, uh, down here in southeast Louisiana, several counties in Mississippi, and uh, just, just not a whole lot going on out here. Uh, there is a marginal risk for flash flooding occurring within 25 miles of, of any given point. That's a 5%, at least a 5% risk of that happening here. So uh, there is a chance for some, you know, street flooding, but, uh, you know, I, I think that the flooding risk really has dropped since yesterday. Well, we did have some some big issues with some flooding down southern Louisiana yesterday. Uh, there's just a general risk of thunderstorms today. Um, once you get away from all this cooler air and uh, the Carolinas and you get a little bit deeper down here along the uh, the Gulf Coastline, certainly enough juice to the atmosphere for some thunderstorm activity. But as far as severe weather, uh, probably not going to see much of it today. Well, let's talk about the southeast. Uh, it's going to be a soggy one for most. I think, you know, western areas of the deep south, normally when I say western areas of the deep south, I mean like Louisiana um, and Mississippi. Um, but I think the rain will begin to clear out for you guys throughout the morning hours. But for the Georgia and the Carolinas, maybe even up to southern sections of Virginia, an absolute washout. Not much rain out there this morning, but it will become more widespread throughout the day. By the time we get into 1, 2 p.m., Heavy rain falling, moderate to heavy rain falling from Birmingham to Atlanta, Greenville, Spartanburg, Columbia, down to Macon, Georgia, Charlotte, up to Raleigh. Just a shield of rain kind of becomes more concentrated and more widespread 
down here along the panhandle of florida it could have more storm activity where it just is able to warm up and a little bit of a sector could develop here where we could have a strong thunderstorm or two down here uh, but more stable cool air up here and it is just going to be raw in the carolinas and areas of northern georgia just a widespread rain this is a perfect day in georgia south carolina and north carolina just to chill out read a book like me and my family are going to go see the super mario movie today at around noon and uh, we're just going to chill out and just do some more indoor activities take advantage of just a soggy wet day you know a good wet day isn't isn't bad um but it, it is it does get quite annoying when it constantly tries to fall on the weekends but i wouldn't be surprised if down here they introduce a marginal risk on the in north florida I uh, wouldn't be surprised one bit, but we'll see. Either way, not a big severe weather event day. But if you look really, really, really closely right here, you had to zoom in on your video, there could be a little bit of some snowflakes falling, you know, several thousand feet up in the air on those higher elevations of North Carolina. So we'll certainly see how that works out. But the rain will continue throughout the evening hours. And I think by the time we wake up Sunday morning, it'll be clearing the southeast and I think a better day will emerge for our Sunday, but still we'll hang on to some chillier temperatures. Rainfall between now and the next 24 hours. I might also well just go out to the duration of this event. Um, <clears throat> another inch or so of rain could fall in Birmingham. Um, Atlanta, Georgia, an inch, inch and a half of rain is possible. Go over to the Carolinas. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of rain could fall in South Carolina, North Carolina today. Sharp cutoff. It's a it's a pretty strong low pressure, and normally with it, in that case, you normally have a pretty strong cutoff. You know, a lot of people are, you know, are saying, hey, you know, if it was January, this will be a winter storm. And I always say, you know, not so fast. You need a lot of other things to work out, too. There's a lot of players in the upper levels of the atmosphere that have to work out, and not just temperatures at the surface. But this is a favorable track if you had more cold air for a winter storm, if it was like uh, January, December, January, or February here in the southeast. But we're um pretty deep into april now so none of that really matters we just get a cold chilling rain but i mean you know charlotte could get an inch an inch and a quarter of rain um you know you could get one to two inches of rain in columbia down to orangeburg florence uh anderson uh, yeah so down here in the eastern sections of north carolina it could get two to three inches of rain a lot more rain over here in the eastern sections of north carolina so just to wash out very cold temperatures not only that Okay, but look at these are high temperatures today. This is temperatures in the warmest part of the day. Okay, um, let's back it up one day. This is for Sunday. For today, high temperatures. I, I would I would say it doesn't even get to 50 degrees a day in Columbia, uh, but widespread 50s and 40s today. Raw, it's and it's raining too. Okay, this is going to be an absolutely raw day. We've seen the writing on the wall for this uh, for for several days now. And uh, it's here, that front that you felt in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia yesterday, that was the basically the, the introduction of this nasty air mass. And it's here, bad raw day today. Um, so don't, I hope you don't, I hope you didn't hang on to any outdoor activities because they're, it's just not going to happen. The good news is we get into tomorrow and we'll jump ahead. You, you immediately get back into the 60s, still a chilly day. But then we start to warm up gradually each day. And by the time we're on Tuesday of next week, we're back in the widespread 70s. And then we're almost into the 80s by the time we get into the end of next week. So, um, Up here in the northeast, very quiet day. Not going to stay on this very long. Nothing going on. We get into this afternoon. Maybe some snow flurries in northern Maine. Um, but the rain from the southeast does not make it up here. So it's actually a pretty nice day. It'll be warmer in the northeast than it is in the southeast. And if you're asking how is that possible, well, just rain, cooled air. That's that's pretty much the answer right there. Um, the South Central U.S., not a whole lot going on either. The rain finally clears out, might hang on to a couple downpours in far, far southeast uh, Louisiana. But outside of that, nice day. Nothing, nothing too bad expected. Nothing to really talk on at all out here. So enjoy the nice day. Um, lingering snow will kind of drift out of Wisconsin. We'll drift into northern areas, <coughs> excuse me, of um, Michigan today. But this will taper off. Might make it into southern Ontario, but probably won't. Even if it does, it won't be a big deal. Uh, we'll just kind of leave you guys with a dusting. Let me know how much snow you guys saw from that little event that's going on right now over the next few hours. But, you know, once we get deep into Saturday night and the Sunday morning, there's nothing going on. It's, it's quiet. 
things have really chilled out guys this it probably will end up being the shortest video i've made in some time but <clears throat> this is interesting first off you, you already know the pocket of cold air over the southeast very chill chilly raw day it's crazy you go down to texas if you're traveling up 95 from florida and uh just you know driving through southeast georgia into the carolinas i'm telling you you're gonna you're gonna if let me i'll give you an example if you, if you stop in jacksonville to get gas or to get something to eat and you say man it feels nice outside by the time you might drive up into the beaufort area the low country of south carolina maybe maybe you'll stop again once you get into southern sections of south carolina you'll walk out and you'll be like wow it's very cold and uh, that's going to be the case there's a big temperature gradient from deep in south georgia and florida then once you get further up in Georgia into the Carolinas. So that's there. We already talked about that chilly day, but nice day in the Northeast, but it will be quite chilly. In fact, it will not get above freezing in Northern Maine. Um, <clears throat> the Ohio Valley in the Midwest, 50s and 60s, maybe some 70s. You get into the middle of the country, the Midwest and the Plains. I mean, it's for all widespread 70s and 80s. And then you check out this pocket of cold air. This is due to the fact that you got snow on the ground. Storm Chaser, um, you know, Aaron J. Jack was going through this area because I believe he lives in Canada um, yesterday and it was crazy. You know, he was showing pictures of all the snow drifts up here in North Dakota and South Dakota. And uh, you guys will get some melting today, but um, the snowpack is helping to keep the temperatures down. But that's it, guys. Not not a whole lot to speak on. Uh, pretty easy like easy like Saturday morning, <laughs> not Sunday morning, but. That's all I got. There's a good chance I'll probably won't have a video tonight, guys. I'm um, just going to continue to to rest up. I know that inevitably it will get busy again. We're in April, um, and it was certainly looking like after we got past this severe weather event that we just went through that it was going to be a quieter time emerging, but it's just a matter of time before something happens again. So uh, just resting up for that next period. So don't let your guard down. Severe weather season isn't even close to being over. <clears throat> we just have some stabilization of the atmosphere for now if you will so that's all i got god bless all y'all have a great saturday and uh, i'll talk to y'all soon